Okay, we're back again. Um, this is Ahmed Mojarao with the fourth video in this uh, positioning elements on the web page in the Visual Web Developer Tutorial 4 uh, series. I'm with Imagination Everywhere in the REA Institute. And the last thing that we left off on was the footer div. Um, and the footer div, as we can see, has a style of a style a color of green. It flows left and has a width of 800 pixels. But it but it automatically inherits the height of the global um, of of the global div uh, style. So or the style of the global div. So um, so here's all the things. Now, what I wanted to show you was what if we wanted since the um, since all of the elements after the head basically have a float of left uh, well no not, we don't want to do that we want to uh, yeah have a float of left and uh, we really don't want to deal with the float let's deal with the 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 other we, we don't want to deal with positioning attributes let's deal with uh, styling attributes such as the color so um, the color and the height so we the left column and the right column basically have the same uh, 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 elemental uh, uh, position not positioning attributes but characteristics they have a height of 400 and a width of 200 so we said that the ID only one element can have only one unique ID so what if we wanted to uh, eliminate some code written code you know so that we can put the same uh, uh, physical a attributes of the left and the right column together what we do is we give them what's called a class name so class and see classes can be more than can be in more than one element so let's see we go say physical or size so we got a we got a class name size and so if we go ahead and put this in the right column also say class equals size so uh, and it has a squiggly line there because we haven't dis we haven't given it a, a, a CSS class. So what we do is the way we we do that was we come up here in the style within the style tag, which is in the header tag, and we put a period, and then we give it the the name size. And then what we go ahead and do is we put it in between two curly braces. And we can go back down to let's start with the left column. Uh, well, let's just go to the left column. Um, if we go to the left column, and we go ahead and highlight the cut it out. Come up here to this to this tag. And what we can do is with the right column is we can delete the width and the height. So if we go ahead and we delete the width and the height. And we zoom out and we save it. And we go to our browser. We refresh the page. As you can see, the width and the height of the left and the right column are the same. So what if we wanted to uh, say that we wanted the left and the right column to have the same color? And so we can override that with the class. So we can say background color, color, and let's say we want a background color of let's say white. So we put an apostrophe right. I mean a semicolon there, 
and what we do is we go ahead and take the background color colors of the of the left and the right column out the and click save and if we view it in the browser voila so a class can apply attributes to one more to more than one element on the on the web page an ID is what you use mainly to position an element on the on the web page, and and that and it, and it can only be used can be applied to one element. So an ID of the header can only be a, can be applied to this div. An ID of left column can only be applied to di to this div. So I wanted to show you the difference between classes and div. With classes, uh, the class can uh, be a applied to the right column and the left column or the, the right column and the left column so that's the difference between classes and IDs and I just wanted to because that's going to be very important when we start to do animation and we start to change you know do special effects and things like that you really need to uh, know that so uh, I just wanted to show you that and that concludes our this part of the four part series on the positioning of the elements. I just wanted to know, let you know the differences between IDs and classes. Also, I didn't want to end abruptly. Um, so we understand now that we understand absolute positioning, um, which is uh, it fixes the element on the on a web page. Uh, we understand that relative uh, positioning allows you to uh, allows the element to go with the flow of the page. We understand the hierarchy of of, of HTML in which you know the browser reads uh, the code uh, from top to bottom. We understand the parent-child relationship between elements, uh, like the div, uh, the container div is the parent of all these other divs, and these other divs have no. Uh, they're related to each other, they're brother and sisters, but they have distinguishing attributes. Um, so uh, I just wanted to help you understand the position of the page, uh, positioning elements on the page, so that we can now get into really, really programming, I mean really designing a web page. And we'll do that um, on Monday. This is Friday, so we'll do that on Monday. Thank you and uh, look forward to seeing you on the next video.